Kim, what did you think of Nene and Greg's Halloween costumes at the party? Whatever. I mean, I was unaffected. Did you think it was funny? No. I thought it was hilarious. Nene, whose idea was the roach costume? Um, uh, I think Cynthia Bailey. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Cynthia, yes. your costume was beyond. <laughs> Creative genius. You seemed very convincing as a man. I couldn't keep these girls off of me. It was a problem. I know. All the ladies were very turned on by you. You could have finally gotten candy. You were really committed to the beat. I, I mean, she did not break character I was. Oh. So, Nene, you seemed happy when Sheree brought Kim to the white party. Was there a thought of inviting her yourself? I didn't invite her, but I didn't have a problem when she walked through the door, okay? This was all the shit she brought with her when she came in. Prior to that, Nene and I met at her boutique, and we talked about Kim. And I said, we need to get together. And you was like, yeah, let's do it. That'd be great. So I didn't think there would be a problem. Alicia from Silver Spring, Maryland, said, Kim... Why do you think it's okay for you to talk about Nene being on drugs? Don't you know how damaging that can be for someone's reputation? It's similar to Portia's accusation of Candy. So when I said I think she's on something, I asked Nene to her face. I didn't go around telling other people. Yes, yeah, she did. I talked you to said Sheree. Well, Sheree the first time. I said I think she's first. on something. We've known you for you a long time. Her. You don't know me like I went that. To you. Okay. What kind of f***ing drugs What kind of about? drugs I don't know. I'm not, I wasn't saying, like, street drugs. I was just saying, like, you're off. You don't something know is very off. You know something is very off about your ass, okay? <laughs> your brain is not stopping on every mother floor. Like, can you okay? have a normal conversation? No, bitch. You can't sit like, and bash loud, your bitch like you did loud, his uh, whole uh, season. Uh, 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 and take a machine here and talk to you, bitch. You don't even deserve a conversation. It's been house. many years since you've seen her. So if she was sitting no. there quietly, couldn't she be sitting there really quietly? It wasn't really sitting there and... quietly. It was kind of like just a different disposition. Okay. Cynthia, I was over there leaning around. Oh, I around thought it was very party. inappropriate for her to say the thing about the drugs. When we had our dinner or whatever, I told you then that I didn't think that was cool. I didn't you think it was cool it. for you to say I had a drinking problem. Wait, wait, what? For you to say I have a drinking problem is very disrespectful. No, I was repeating what you said. You can't go anywhere without having a drink. What you, you said. Need to drink. Did you what not you say said? That? No, I did not. Did she not I don't say that for the world? What? Roll it back, production. Corey drops me off so I can drink. Like, I don't think I've done one thing without having a glass of wine. I need to f drink a bottle with this f group. Well, the difference is Candy added the word problem. Kim made everything about her husband and her drinking problem. She what said, you right. said you was, always need to you drink. need to worry about your drinking problem. You're telling me you didn't just say that? I absolutely did, because if and you so said you can't go anywhere without not drinking, true. then no, sounds you like a drinking problem. <laughs> Why? Is that it's different than asking her she if she's on drugs? She never talked to me about it. She just said in an interview, I asked Nene to her face. Girl, That's you, my opinion. Girl. When you're you, saying you, drinking so problems, that's like you. almost saying somebody is on drugs or somebody... No, uh, I'm saying if you I can't drive you. yourself because I you have to drink, you. sounds like she a problem to no, me. And I ain't changing it. So hold on. If, if Candy had said to you, do you have a drinking problem... You would have been fine with that. I'm, I would not have been fine with that. I would have talked to her about it and okay. cleared it up. I don't see the difference. There I really is a don't. difference. Nene, I asked you to your face. Okay. Okay. Do you still think that she has a drug problem? The way that she was acting is not the way that I've known Nene to be. Okay. Period. End of story. Is she acting like herself today? I don't really know. I'm not really looking at her. She was kind of just not herself at her house. Okay. Uh, Nene was acting exactly the same. There was a house full of people there. There was a girl. Ain't nobody thinking about you. I've been over here longer than you at this point, so please stop. I always want to flap her lips about somebody, and then when somebody says something about her, she got a problem. Hope from New Windsor, New York, said, Candy, I find it hard to believe you propositioned Kim for a sexual Never uh, liaison. Never in life. How did you feel when you saw that? And did it bother you that Sheree did not carry that bone to you? I was pissed, to say the least. Coming into this new season, I personally thought that me and Kim would try to be on a better page with one another. So even when all the stuff was going on between yourself,